Burn Volume 2. Favoritism causes jealousy on board when Burn pampers her own pilots. What is that on your clothing? Hmm? Could you be more specific? I wear a number of unique accessories. That pat, uh, the patch on your clothing. The one with two balls. Looks like a coat of arms. Coats usually do have arms. What are you talking about? You're speaking absolute nonsense. Burns messing with you. She knows what you're talking about. Are you messing with my crew? There's a time and place with, for wit, Burn. Why do you spoil my fun? I want to see how long I can keep this conversation going. If you must know, it's the coat of arms of my homeland. I wear it to show my support. And burn is your home, right? Win, sir. The land of the Bernarian, a Bernie. Back in the days of the uh, Novum Popularnia. What? I think she's going back to the time of the Roman Empire. Just nod your head and play along. Now you could say that the province was really named. Beniharnum, the capital city of the Benari. Benarni. Or Benarni. Benarni? Benarni, yeah. We're gonna go with Benarni. The city was destroyed merciless, mercilessly by the Vikings, but came back bigger and better. Thus, Bern was born. And this is in the trend of. Breaking your me building with you, Ben. Resilience is my middle name. You don't even have a surname. Perhaps I shall find myself one. These Morganas are not much of a challenge. Box arms. Is it me or are these Morganas getting worse at Morgana-ing? Well, they're ruthless in their numbers. But they're so disorganized. Think about that last battle. They had no formidable defense and just kept throwing themselves at us. The Morganas keep coming back no matter how badly they're defeated. There's more f nothing more threatening than a foe that's incapable of wearing down. Not to mention the way they get the stronger with each defeat. You folks have me, one of the toughest bells out there. Let's just keep charging. I'm sure they'll flee in terror. We can't afford to wear ourselves out, Ben. A fight of endurance against the Morganas is a fight we can't win. We have to pick our battles carefully. I know you're anti to win this, but reckless isn't the answer. It's not reckless. It's seizing an opportunity when we see one. Ben, you can't just fight willy-nilly. We have supplies, crew health, and maintenance to think of. The Morganas share those concerns. Come on, it took ages for me to be built. Society no fear. Knew I'd be their masterpiece. Thought the Great War kept them from working on you. Exactly, Mint. The only war to end all wars could hold me back. 
Never change, Burn. Chapter 3. Ha! Huh. Did you feel the wind on that shell, Capitan? Be careful, Burn. Voice sealer, Capitan. Well, that was quite the flourish. Is there anything special going on? I'm just feeling some love about my home right now. So grateful to be such a unique bell. You are different, that's for sure. In the best ways, both air and seas, I do it all. Oh, what's this? A token notice of my luxurious buttons on my clothing? Not really, Burn. I'm just wondering when you'll start getting off, off on a tangent. They do look unique. I'm not sure how this helps us in the war effort. Sure, or I'll, I'll buy it, Burn. Okay, okay Burn. What's with the button design? You might want to take a seat on one, Capitan. This may take a bit. This is none other than the ancient king of friends, Henry the Fourth. Okay, so? A grand king, a king who turned Paris into a great city, who ruled with weapon in hand and... Burn, you're rambling. Alright, I'll skip to the end. Did you know he was assassinated? Crazy, isn't it? Oh boy. Chapter 4 Nice work, Burn. Great job clearing out those stag struggling Morganas. Hmm. Uh, Burn? Ah, oh, our bond. We won. Hooray for us. I'm thinking some brandy might be in order for everyone. Are you okay, Burn? Hmm. Why? Do I seem not okay? Because I can assure you, Capitan. I'm fine. Usually you're a bit more talkative after a fight. You just seem bothered by something. I'm not sure I believe that. Are you feeling ill? Stranded? Strained? It's important that I know when you're not feeling right. If you don't want to tell, that's fine. I'll be here for you if you need anything. I appreciate the concern, but I'm in top form. I always am. You can count on me to get any job done. If you say so, are you still offering that drink? Win, sir. Come on, everyone. Let's stuff our faces with fine cuisine and booze. Once again. Come return. I need some input. On what? Well, my pilots do a lot of work around the ship, other than fighting. They make sure everything's in top form. They're good people. I'm sure they keep looking forward to you spoiling. Yeah, keep looking forward to you spoiling them with wine. Only for them, sir. But I think maybe they are getting tired of it. I'm not sure I've heard of someone getting tired of wine. I think they still appreciate it. Don't spoil them too much. Just keep it at wine. They have a job to do, Ben. We need to let the crew enjoy some of their finer things in life. Now hear me out. I think I have a solution. What? Bernese food, of course. I can treat them to a refined meal. That would be nice for a change. It would definitely get the taste of wine out of their mouths. If you really want to do this, then I won't put my foot down. But you need to stay focused, Ben. I promise. You don't have to take my word for it. Unbelievable. How is she always late? Uh, 
Can I have her fancy food? She's not around. I don't see her. She'll be here. Burn just loves to take her time. If you say so. Speaking of fancy dining, has Burn been treating the pilots better than us? She gives them wine sometimes. What? How come? You wouldn't believe this. I gave one of the crew a history lesson. Is that why you're late? I know you like to ramble, but I didn't think you'd try to teach. Did they learn anything new? I'm not that late. It was an important manner. So about the wine. You're interested in wine? I have some great stories about wine. Want to hear them? Looks like it'll have to be later. Captain, notice anything, noticing, uh, notice anything special about me today? Hard to say. What are you up to? Notice any jewellery? A necklace by chance? Hey, it looks like a plane. Where did you get this? Still not noticing anything. Did you get one for me? I forgot that I had it lying around. It's one of my planes. The Watine D373. I've been meaning to discuss the treatment of the rest of the crew with you. A good leader is always concerned about their people. Why, Henry the Fourth was constantly focused, burn. It's about the wine. Enemy Morgana's inbound. Let's get them, sir. We're not done here. Capitan, I must speak with you. You're going to have to hold that fort. Captain, we have an interesting problem here. It's about the crew and the wine. I tried to tell you about it before, but then you lost focus and... Normally I don't need help in situations like these, but a woman of dignity and poise must shield everything now and then. If you say so. Captain, what should I do to make the crew less jealous of the pilots? You can stop giving the pilots wine. I'm sure they'll understand the pilots mean a lot to you. This is between you and them. By the way, your con isn't cheap. How are you getting your hands on it? There isn't time to explain such insignificant details. Now, there has to be a way to please everyone. I'll show off how much I care for the crew. Then they won't feel left out. Just don't cause too much problem. Too much trouble. Chapter 9 Captain, Morgana's approaching. Sound the alarm. All is all ease. Try it. I don't know. He seems a bit too fancy. Send me as thanks for all your hard work. Figured I should share my culture with you. And what's better than with with eh? Yeah. What better way through than through with food? That's expensive. How did you get your hands on it? Why does everyone ask that? It doesn't matter. Eat. As long as there's enough for me. Are you letting someone else try the Bernanese food? 
This is your plan? Shh. Don't spoil this, Captain. It's time now. Eat up. It's delicious. Welcome to paradise. Aren't I the best? It's been quite a bit, Mon Capitan. Since what? Since we shared a brandy together. Has been a while. Let's drink. Now, let me tell you about my homeland. You already have, you know, repeatedly. You never asked me about where I'm from. I should add. Okay, I'm comfortable. Hit me. Actually, one moment. I need more brandy before I begin. You'd think by now I'd figure out what goes on in your head. But you can't. I'm a mystery, Captain. That's what makes me so charming. There's a certain charm in the repress. Irrepressible. Nature element. And the crazy. Getting me fired up right before I fight, Mon Capitan. Very clever. Yes, let's go over that. I don't know why I even bothered letting Burn arrange a meeting. Captain. Jean Unic. There goes my coffee. Burn. We have to talk about your tardiness and your clumsiness. No time, sir. I've lost something. By any chance, have you seen my a book lying around? Think you could narrow it down? I haven't seen any books around here. Did you lose one? So are you going to apologize about my coffee at all? Oui. Well, I was trying to introduce one of the pilots to some of my combat training. I can't help if you don't specify. What is it you're missing? The book in French. And just keep an eye out, okay? Now if you excuse me, I have things to do. I've never seen her in such a rush before. Have you seen Burns, sir? Can't say I have. Are you looking for her? She told me she was going to get me some wine and then told me to meet you here in her in your quarters how long have you been waiting about an hour yeah i know how you feel why does she treat all of her pilots so differently from the crew maybe she she's probably still trying to win the crew over they found out that she spoils the pilots you know i'm not sure though she won't stop telling us about how she was almost a battleship once Say, why would she tell me to meet you here? Me here. Say, why would she tell me to meet her near your quarters? I needed a referee so I could race Captain around the bridge. Or race Captain to the bridge. Ah. Let him go, Captain. Something tells me he beat us both. Oh, something tells me he'd beat the both of us. Do you have to just appear like that? I'd take you with me if you could, sir. Such a thrill. Captain, what do you think of my hair? It's braided. It's beautiful, I know. Tippy compliments. 
but it's an over addition to my King Henry the Fourth collection. Look, it's holding my hair together. You really do like that king, don't you? It looks good. Well, why was King Henry the Fourth look great? Henry the Fourth great. I wouldn't mind an ornament or two in my honor. Now, Captain, don't be jealous. Understand that my heart belongs to the late King Henry the Fourth. You have to be one of the most patriotic bells I've ever heard of. Thirteen years of my construction not only leads to the love of my nation, but brings me closer to elegance. You're also the biggest boaster I've ever come across. No, I don't boast. I speak the truth. Let's give these Morganas a dose of truth. Morgana spotted, sir. Action stations. An easy win. The Morganas are nothing compared to our might. All right, everyone, give me a status report. But before that, may I have your attention, please? I have something that I need to say. Ben, why are you? I have lost something incredibly important. A unique collection of stories that I like to be recovered. And this way, if anyone finds the book in French, please give it to me, to the captain. Make sure I'm, I forgot what I was going to say. Captain, is she okay? She's just keeping out for the book. Keep an eye out for the book, okay? I don't know. Just let her do her thing. Just wait for her to finish and we can get to business. Sounds easy enough. Captain, I think I'm ready. Ready? For what? Give you more information about my missing book, sir. You're still on that. What can you tell me? Well, for one thing, it's a collection of short stories that was published in 1558. Are you giving me hints or do you want me to guess? Oh, Zee. Oh, wow. Alice. You should know that it's a very refined narration for a cute lady like myself. This will go a lot quicker if you tell me the name of the book. I don't know. Can we speed this up? How am I supposed to narrow down my options with clues like that? But that wouldn't be fun. Can you just tell me the name? I'd love to, but I gotta give my pilots their wine. Later, Burn. Did you hear me? I don't know. Maybe I'm jealous. You are? But seriously, why should wine, why should wine bother you? Because we work hard, even more so than the pilots. I desire deserve some delicious rewards every now and then. I can't believe this. Captain, are you hearing this? I'm listening. Eventually, you can celebrate. Morgana's come first. We're in the midst of war. Getting drunk should be your last priority. I'll talk to Burn, but this will be only be the only time. You understand? I promise that this will be the only time, sir. Unbelievable! I've never seen a crew act like this in all my years. First time for everything. But you will talk to Burn, right? Unbelievable. Are you too busy? 
Point, sir. Of course we are. But you can come in. Tell me. What do you want to hear? Do you want to hear some stories? No. This is about stories. Uh, what do you mean? I found this book in the medical bay. I couldn't understand any of the written, so I figured out this was the one that... That one that you could decipher it. Could it be? Excuse me? It is. You found it. My book. Tales of the Heptameron. This is the book you lost. Now you say the name. Why can't you say it earlier? So, no tangent? You don't want to rele relegate us with its hit regale us with its history? Eh. Yeah. So, no tangent? You want to regale us with its history? We. Oui, it is. I'm at a loss for words. If it's going to get you this excited, it must be pretty thrilling. After this battle, though. Heh. You might describe it that way, Captain. To finally find my lost tales of the Heptamaron. It's almost got a new book smell again. You seem to have an immense chat attachment to it. What's it about? It's, well, kind of embarrassing. You? Embarrassed? Impossible. It's just that a high class woman shouldn't be caught reading this. Then you should be fine. It's not often that I encourage you to start rambling. If you don't want to tell me, then that's fine. Now, if you excuse me. Ugh. This rape here is not meant for show. It's a romance. That doesn't seem too bad. Forbidden romance. Love triangles. Tales of awe and wonderment. Why didn't you say so? I'd certainly like to... Not to mention cockoldery and murder. <laughs> Saves by the bell. There will be time later to educate you on how the French write proper narratives. But now, violence. Chapter 19. Let's see. Your beauty, your grace, and your warning deportment merit so much pleasure. Sound familiar, Captain? Ah, uh, these Morganas always have terrible timing. I'm regretting Burn finding that book. Why do you say that? Because I've been waiting for her again. And I just saw her earlier today too. So... Can we talk about wine? Sorry, I got caught up. Talking about the book to an officer? Sister Virai, how did you know? Because I know you, Burn. Not hard to guess. You haven't start you haven't stopped evangelizing that book ever since you found it. We need to talk about you and focusing. I guess that's true. But am I that oblivious? Uh, am I that obvious? I mean, she's oblivious, but... Well, if you keep showing the book to everyone, we'll never finish the story you were reading me. Ah, we... Where were we? The gentleman repairing by night to the Queen's chamber where he... Not in front of the crew. I'm going to spot her to the east, Captain. 
to your stations. Burn, we need to have a chat about how to solve this problem with the pilots. The crew is still upset about that. It's all they talk about in the mess. It's making the sailors jealous. Hmm. How am I going to solve this? I don't want the crew constantly complaining. I could order some wine for a special occasion then. Good wine. Not the usual cheap swirl that the bean counters have been settling for. Just this once. That applies to the pilots as well. No special treatment. Whatever it takes, you have my permission. There isn't another way out of this, is there? I'm afraid not, but don't worry. I'm a smart enough bell I can solve this. Think of it as a farewell dinner without the farewell. So, dinner. What I'm trying to say is, I've heard you and agree. It's pure nepotism to my favor my pilots, so I will admit this at the dinner. I'm glad you've come around. I had a long talk with my sister about it. The ones that are a part of you. So if it doesn't work, you can blame them. Two steps forward. Chapter 21. Captain, I'm sensing Morganas. How close are they? Too close. Captain, you shall sit by my side at this dinner. You said you had something special planned tonight. I want to give them Bernie's food while I share with them the history of my construction. They already know it. A history of my home? Just keep it on the control, okay? The crew need their rest. Whatever works for you. Good idea. Now we've been more focused on the efforts against the Morganas. That's the plan. I think it'll work out. You're never going to tell me what, where you got your hands on this stuff, are you? Hmm. I suppose I can let you in on a secret. The source is... Oh dear, an interruption. How do they always know? Captain, we have reports of more. Prepare for battle. So I was chatting with an officer the other day and I was telling him about my construction. I think you've told me this before. And I taught him French. Ben, thanks for the introduction to Bernie's food. It's really good. Don't get too attached. It's a one time thing. It'll make you fight harder. Cherish it. Will do. Once again, you're the most popular person on the ship. You did it, Ben. Great job. Now they still stay in high spirits. I'll make sure I treat them all fairly from here on out. I realize you were correct. We're fighting to keep the good things in life. If luxuries are always near. Do they not become the normal, new normal? And then it's just about the haves versus the have nots. From now on, the best wine is for holidays only and for everyone who wants it. And if a certain captain wants a little extra, out of your pocket, but simply say the word and I'll find you the best in the region. Does Burn have a smuggling operation? Sir, Morganas have been spotted. Sound the alarm. You know, Burn, you never told me. Told you what? Why you were giving special treatment to the pilots in the first place? I didn't. Nope. 
well, you obviously know I was supposed to become a great battleship. I am well aware of that. When I became an aircraft carrier, I figured that I needed to put the pilots first. Show them I cared. Yes, that makes sense. You don't need to do that, Ben. The crew knows we're all on the same team. I'd like... I think the captain would be do a little of that. It does. I guess I forgot to pamper the crew, too. I'll say this, Burn. You joke about your sisters taking the blame for your eccentricity. But the way I see it, you've got the kindness and energy of five bells. Maybe that's literally true. Captain, that... I'm so touched. No Mandy, Flandry, Glasgow, and in Dock. I miss them sometimes, you know. Even though I never met them. Sounds like you need to introduce the rest of us. Cess decide. I will dive into their histories with all the passion I find in mine. I thought to give you some new reading material. Indeed. My Hertem... Hertemar... Hertemeron has been getting terribly worn. Chapter 25. Where is Burn? We have more Garners inbound. I'm not sure, sir. Burn, where are you? Where is the captain? Oof. There you are. Where have you been? I was looking for you, sir. Really? I was looking for you. No time for chit chat. We have more Garners to fight. I'm supposed to say that to you. So. So. I think you might like. I think you might like. You first. May I proceed? I'm not at time, Ben. None, Captain. After you, I insist. I picked this up in port. I thought you might appreciate it. Appreciate it, Captain. I love it. I've been meaning to read the Three Musketeers since, well, since I've awoken. Adventure, intrigue, and the main characters from Burn. I thought it might be your kind of book. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Although, we'll, well, I can't talk about your gift with everyone else here, remember? Because I got you a very special case of... Ahem. Ah, almost let it slip. I suppose that's why I kept you around. I'll take it. 